Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In the earlier session, we had looked into the scale widget in TK Inter. And in today's session, let's move ahead with the spin box widget in TK Inter. So friends, what is a spin box widget? It is a variant of the standard TK Inter entry widget in which it can you can user can select a value from a fixed number of values. So basically user can select a single value from the given set of values. So it is used in cases where a user is given some fixed number of values to choose from and he can select one value from the list of values available. So the syntax for spin box is spin box. Window is nothing but the main window and there are various options underneath it. Some of the options are from underscore to wrap and then command. Let's look into it practically with a code. Look into it practically with a code example. So initially from tk enter import star win equal to tk it is the main tk enter screen and then let me write as win dot main loop so this is the standard pattern how we write the code in tk enter now let's define a spin box let us let us save it in the variable called w w equal to spin box i'm placing it in the main window from underscore i'm giving it equal to 0 to i'm giving it equal to 10 so the values range from 0 to 10 and next i'm giving it a font equal to Arial and then 30. Now let me pack my spin box onto the screen by saying w dot pack. Okay, now let's the run let's run the code and see how it works. It should be from underscore not hyphen. Now if I run the code, I get my spin box in this particular manner. The starting value is 0 and it ranges till 10. So now when I click on the increment button, it will increment. The values will increment and it will stop at 10. Now if I use the decrement button, it will reduce and it will stop at 0. So this is how the spin box is. It will have an increment arrow button and a decrement arrow button and we can click on increment or decrement. Suppose we want to order some fruits or vegetables and I want 2 kgs. So I can increment it to 2 and if I want to again decrement, I can decrement it by 1. So I we can keep on decrementing. So this is how the spin box works. And suppose if I give it, it need not be numbers, it can also be some values. So let's see with some values. So VAL equal to in the tuple, I'll give some values like Ram, Sham, Sam, Ria. So some values are there and in the spin box I want these values to appear. So I don't want the from equal to 0 and 2 equal to 10. But I want some fixed values to appear. So I have to give values equal to val. So values is the parameter and I am assigning it to val which is having Ram, Sham, Sam and Rhea. Now if I run the code. I have to close the window. Now if I run this particular code, I get Ram. I will increment. It will become Sham, Sam, Ria. And if I click again, I don't have any other items at the end. So Ria is the last item. So it will stop at Ria. Now if I decrement, it will have Sam, Sham, 
ram and there are no other items in the beginning so it will stop over here so this is how the spin box works and now if i want to wrap there is a com parameter called wrap i'll make it equal to true now let's run a, let's run our code and see how it works so when i give wrap equal to true i'll increment sham sam riya and then since i've given wrap equal to true it will go till the it will again pass from the beginning so it will again come to ram sham sam riya again if i click it will again go to ram from the beginning it will come in a loop now if i decrement i get riya the last one sam sham ram and again it will decrement it will go in the reverse order that is riya so when i give wrap equal to true the increment after increment everything it will again go from the beginning and if i give wrap equal to true if after decrementing again it will come in the reverse order so this is how the wrapping works in spin box and now if i want to put the value selected by the spin box then i can give some command also within the spin box so let me give my command equal to show and let me have my label to display the results so let me call it as label1 equal to label place it in the main window label1 dot pack now let me call the command show is a function so let me define the function so def show and now let me write the code for the function on the label i want to display the value selected by the spin user in the spin box so let me say it as label1 dot config and let me give the text equal to w dot get the value present in the spin box i am getting that value so this get function we have seen in all some many of the other widgets as well so it gets the current value which the user has selected in the spin box so now when i run this particular code on change of the value now i'll change the value so sham gets printed i'll change the value sam gets printed let me increase the font a bit for this font equal to arial comma 20 so now let me run the code okay now i change the value in the spin box that value gets displayed on the label widget again i'll change sam riya ram sham now let me decrease it will go to ram riya so in this way we can get the value the changed value in the spin box we can get it through the get method and display it on the label in the tk inter screen so this is how the spin box widget works in tk inter so it's a variant of the standard tk enter entry widget where user can select a single value from the list of values available it has got many options like from to wrap and then command hope so friends it was clear for you if you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section if you like my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notifications of my new videos till then see you bye bye